Exercise two in our eight exercise progression for activating your glutes during the deadlift is a little bit different than exercise one. Exercise one was the full rock back with abs. So I round myself, I get those outer lower abs and I breathe in and open up my back. That helps shut our hip flexors off so that when we try to stand up in our deadlift, they're not taken over. They can relax and our glutes can turn on. They can find the position to turn on. So we're just going to kind of take another muscle group and add it on. So we got those abs. Now we need to get the hamstrings. So the hamstrings help rotate the pelvis back, help shut the hip flexors off, help extend the hip. They'll help assist you in locking out your deadlift, all sorts of good stuff, right? But if my pelvis is tipped forward, those hamstrings are being pulled long. They don't have good leverage. So what we need to learn how to do is find that position where my low back is flat in the ground, right? Oftentimes people are like this. You see my belly is kind of forward and I want to push my low back and my stomach toward the ground. Let the gravity kind of push me down that way. So the way that I do that is I just say, I want you to exhale and then lift your tailbone up off the ground. If someone doesn't get that, I say, I want you to exhale and reach your knees towards the ceiling. Okay, oftentimes people do this and that doesn't work. I just say, keep your feet down and just reach your knees up. Okay. And you can even slide your hands to tell yourself what direction that you want. So from here, I should feel some hamstrings. They might not be cramping. They might not be burning like an extensive warm up or a workout, but that's not the point, right? I just need them to turn on. I need them to be in the position to turn on and I can use that feedback to help me know if I'm in the right position. Uh, so two big cues, lift your tail, exhale, <sighs> lift your tailbone, and then is your back flat? Do you feel your low back in the ground? Good. Okay. If you don't sit there, <sighs> try to shut your abs off. If I brace with my abs, it'll kind of push my uh, back into the ground, but it'll also make me really tired and it doesn't shut the hip flexors off. It just turns that front ab muscle on. So in general for this exercise when you're setting up no abs i want jelly belly right i want you to be able to reach in there and feel what you had for lunch okay <sighs> that's one of the grosser cues that i've ever used <laughs> exhale tailbone up good my back is flat my abs are off you remember that right we've run through all this this setup is very important we're going to do it again exhale <sighs> tailbone up, feel my hamstrings, abs are off, low back is in the ground, right? Very important. I know this is repetitive. You need to get this right or else it doesn't work or else it just messes you up. Now I'm here and for most people, if they need to be doing this, I also need help getting these ribs down. So primary thing for you is the hamstrings. As long as you feel the hamstrings, that's the only thing that I'm really focused on. Um, Big deal, though, is I want these ribs to not be sticking out so much. So once I get this set up, then it's OK to start breathing a little more deeply. And then it's OK for the abs to turn on towards the end of your exhale like this. So I take my hands, I reach up. That helps me kind of you see, it helps me crunch my abs down like this. I'm here in through the nose. <sighs> and I've run out of air. I can't talk. I'm just trying to get the abs or the ribs to come down. So the abs will turn on towards the end, but I got to make sure I'm feeling these guys right here on the outer lower parts of my abdomen here. Hang on to them while you breathe in. And remember, active push through your heels so that we can feel the hamstrings. Um, I'm not as in, I'm not as concerned about the abs here. I need you to get your hamstrings. We already did something for your abs. They're there. They're working. 
I need you to make sure that you're getting hamstrings. Now, if you feel front of leg, you're doing something wrong. I don't want that. That is hip flexor, okay? So go back to your setup, exhale, tailbone lift. Do I feel my hamstrings good? Do I feel these? Yes, I do. Oh, I can tell my abs are still on a little bit, so let's let them melt away. Oh, now I only feel hamstrings. If I don't only feel hamstrings, now let's push your feet away from you just a hair and let's push them down towards the ground just a hair. Now, my hip flexors totally shut off. My low back is really in the ground, okay? So those are cues that you can use to help yourself. I'm taking this one, just like the last one, I'm just kind of getting in this position, holding for breaths, uh, usually about five breaths, usually three times, three sets. Um, and that's it. Make sure you get this activated and then we can progress you on to something a little more complicated.